In this video we are going to take a quick look at this Canon AE-1 program 35mm film SLR camera. It uh, comes with the FD 50mm f1.8 lens and I thought what we would do is just start testing it out here. Uh, we're going to start out at 1 1 thousandth of a second and step down through the shutter speeds. 1 500th, 1 250th, 1 1 25th, 1 60th, 1 30th, and as we notice the aperture is stopping down in here because I have the uh, aperture set here on this automatic setting. And 1 15th, I'm going to take it off of that and just open it wide up. Here's 1 8th, 1 4th, 1 half, 1 full second, 2 full seconds, and the bulb setting in which case the shutter stays open as long as I hold the button down and, and closes back when I release. Uh, if we set this to a minimum aperture here of f22 we can watch I have to have it cocked as I work the stop down preview we can see the lenses are very or the blades are very quick in the lens and it's a locking type and just a button to release that so the aperture blades are nice and quick. And let's take off the lens and look inside here just a little bit. It looks nice and let's run on the bulb setting. Everything in the mirror box looks looks correct and clean and nice. Okay, and let's uh, take a look at the lens. Very smooth focus, that's extremely nice. And nice clicks on the uh, aperture ring as well as the locking A setting. Okay, so now it can't be turned off of that and that's used on some of the uh, automatic features with this camera. And I did notice I looked very carefully at this lens with backlight through the back while it was on the body so I could have the lens blades wide open and with the backlight I could see a bit of haze around the perimeter here and uh, it does not show up at all looking through from the front from the way I'm looking right now it had to be backlit but when it was it was just a little bit of a hazy fog around the edge so uh, and going in a little way so be aware of that and uh, that's been very common with a lot of this particular lens that I've seen so it seems a very common issue and be aware this one has some of that. Um, I did put a battery in here and I'll leave that in with it. Um, I do want to demonstrate that as we take off the action grip we can get at this battery door and this particular one has a very nice battery door that has no cracks, no problems that I can see. Everything about it looks good and that is a very common problem with this and similar of the Canon models that shared this battery door. Many of them have this broken and this one is very nice. So here's the battery back in. It closes properly. We can easily then reattach the action grip and just turn that down with thumb pressure and then if you really want to lock it down you can carefully take a penny and tighten that down so that's locked on good and that gives it a good feel in your hand. Looking at the top of the camera everything looks nice. Uh, I don't see any problems. The back looks really good. The bottom looks really nice. Just a few little scratches around the tripod socket and Usually there's a little more than that. See just a little bit of a, a ding or a, actually outward little bulge right there. Um, minor paint chipping here along this edge. Here's where we set the ASA or as some people might be more familiar the ISO value now. 800 
100, there's 50, we'll set it at 200. Um, the strap with the camera is an authentic uh, Canon strap. And, uh, oh, one thing we didn't check out was the self-timer. So let's try that. And set that here to S. And I've cocked the shutter. And there we hear it counting down, and it will start beeping faster, and then it will activate the shutter. And that all seems fine. And it does come with this correct period Canon uh, lens cap on the front. And if we look through the back here, we can watch the shutter. I'm going to take that lens cap back off. And I'm going to set that back on instantaneous there. The shutter curtains are advancing nicely. The film advance looks good. And if we move over here to the door, the pressure plate looks good. The uh, door edges are extremely clean. I don't feel any foam residue, which is extremely common on these. So that's really nice. The foam here looks and feels good. It doesn't feel all sticky. It doesn't fall apart when I touch it. So that's really good. That closes properly. Nice rewind crank. It stows properly. So all in all, quite a nice example of the Canon AE-1 program 35mm SLR camera. A little bit of haze in the lens as I mentioned, but uh, nice used but not abused condition camera.